Winston Churchill, hero or villain? <laughs> Tony Pandy, villain. Britain's wartime Prime Minister and saviour Winston Churchill. For decades, his legacy was beyond reproach. But recently, the reputation of a man once voted the greatest Briton ever has attracted much closer scrutiny. Only fit to stand in the company of the likes of Hitler, Mao and Stalin. He had racist views, he enjoyed killing Africans, he called them savages. Mention Churchill's name and most people imagine his indomitable spirit during the Blitz, when the threat of Nazi invasion was still hanging over Britain. We shall defend every village, every town and every city. And we would rather see London laid in ruins and ashes than that it should be tamely and abjectly enslaved. It is, of course, the side of Churchill's character that we're used to seeing on the big screen. You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth! Critics, though, would assign Churchill's darkest hour to another episode during the Second World War, the Bengal Famine. Some three million Indians died in the famine of 1943, when the country was part of the British Empire. Churchill is accused of diverting millions of tons of wheat from Indian ports, despite the pleas of cabinet colleagues, to be stockpiled by allied nations in Europe. But historians have always hotly debated his motivations. Slow to react to the crisis, certainly. Negligent, perhaps but surely not genocidal. The issue is far from clear-cut, but Churchill's imperialist views and undeniable racial bias, particularly towards Indians, are a blemish on his record for many. 300 million primitive people whose well-being is in our care. His hostility towards Indian activist Mahatma Gandhi, with whom he now shares space in Parliament Square, would hardly be considered mainstream today. Then others point out there are his outdated attitudes towards women and the working class. Labour's John McDonnell took issue with his heavy-handedness towards striking miners in Tony Pandy in 1910. Nevertheless, the fierce backlash against the Shadow Chancellor's remarks shows that, for most, Churchill's status is not in question. He's perfectly at liberty to have whatever views he wants about my grandfather. I really think that Churchill's reputation can stand a broadside from this mini Poundland Lenin. So, does his part in the downfall of Nazism outweigh all other faults? Perhaps the fact that we are free to question his leadership at all will remain his greatest achievement. I'll get that little piece of dangerous for